Hey, Trace here for Dean News, but I might not be for much longer because of cracks in melting sea ice. Okay, people, the Earth is warming. We know it's happening. Let's not debate the cause. Let's not get into an argument. Let's just agree that it's happening and move on. We know that Greenland is losing 200 billion tons of ice per year. Now, that's kind of hard to grasp because Greenland's kind of far away. You might not be able to picture Greenland in your mind. Uh, so let me put it in perspective for you. Colder winters, hotter summers, uh, off-season severe weather, droughts, superstorms, cats and dogs living together, mass hysteria. No, that doesn't quite do it for you. How about this? A New York City-sized chunk is about to break off of Antarctica. That's pretty big. Seriously though, these are big concepts and they can be difficult for people to grasp if they say don't know anything about Greenland or don't know how big New York is. So here are some day-to-day -day changes that you might experience as the climate shifts. Try not to get any brain on anything because I'm about to blow your mind. Maple trees are going to have less sap, which means less syrup for your pancakes. Coffee and chocolate production will drop and if being bougie is your thing, don't forget that the hotter weather will sour the grapes for good wine. <laughs> As the heat rises, it could get too steamy to play football games in much of the South. Not that that would matter, because as the growing season gets crazier, we wouldn't be able to make a good beer to enjoy with football anyway. Oh my gosh! Connecting these first world problems with this big chunk of ice in Antarctica is this. The ice in the water around Antarctica actually protects the ice on the shore. And just like in your soda at the movies, when the ice melts, bad stuff happens. In this case, bad stuff doesn't just mean a watery soda. It means a big chunk of an entire continent breaking off and floating away. Another way to think about it is runways. The quickest way to get supplies to and from Antarctica is by airplane. And now that Antarctica has warmed three times what the rest of the world has warmed, the runways in the science stations in Antarctica are melting. And that means Antarctica is gonna run out of fresh toilet paper which is bad for science, or anyone really. And one last way to put it in perspective, as global temperatures rise and humidity goes up, wireless communications get messed up too, which means no cell phones or Wi-Fi, bye-bye. Can you think of some other things that might be affected by the warming of our planet? Post them in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to DNews for our videos all day. Thanks for watching, I'm Trace. Catch you later.